As a doctor, I'm here to present you with some crucial facts about meningitis and septicemia. Meningitis and septicemia are truly devastating illnesses that can kill rapidly within hours and leave survivors with significant disabilities like brain damage, epilepsy, blindness, deafness and even loss of limbs. Meningitis is an infection of the protective membranes around the brain and septicemia is commonly known as blood poisoning. Dr. Rada is a practicing GP and um, probably know her from Radio 1, Channel 4's The Sex Education Show and Chasing Saturdays on E! Entertainment. Thank you for joining us here today, Dr. Rada. It's great to be here, thank you for having me. So when it comes to safe sex, what advice do you have for students at university? So if you're thinking about having sex, then it's really important to enjoy yourself, but it's also really important to be prepared and also to consider your options as well. So it's really important to have a contraceptive method that protects you against unplanned pregnancies and also to use condoms to protect yourself against any sexually transmitted infections. It's a criminal offence to supply prescription-only medicines without a valid prescription. Websites offering them are acting illegally. People just don't know this, do they? No, I don't think they do. So we have medications which are prescription-only, which means that obviously you need a valid prescription signed by a registered doctor to get those medications. And the reason for that is very obvious, is that these drugs are strong, they have serious side effects potentially, and they need to be monitored or controlled. But yet people can buy them um, online. I'm really interested actually myself to hear about why people don't go to their doctor and why people actually go online rather than seeing their doctor. I would actually really like to understand that myself. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it'd be great just to hear that so that we can try and change that around. Absolutely. What is a gun clinic? That's a really good question because <laughs> no one really knows, yeah. apart from many doctors. So it stands for genitourinary medicine, okay. um, which basically means all your bits down below. Okay, <laughs> got it. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> So there are different types of clinics, sexual health clinics, family planning clinics. Your GP also might be able to help and give some advice, but most of the time the sexual health clinics are the ones with the expertise and um, the equipment and resources to deal with what you need. So basically you can just click on the link in the description and that will lead you to a whole list of different clinics you can go to or your GP can actually advise you as well. I think when the media does address uh, a mental health issue for young people, it's really important to have it as part of a wider campaign so that not only do they present the issue, but they actually give young people an access point, a support network, something to follow up with. And what's interesting is that actually once one person in an environment sort of shifts or becomes aware of mental health, and actually you find just there's a ripple effect amongst a whole group of people that other people start becoming more aware, other people start talking about it, mm. other people start accepting stuff, mm. and it's amazing. Mm. It may be slow, it may be subconscious, but it does happen. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much.